rolling here. Okay, so uh, did you have a chance to look at your new piece? Okay, this one is in it. It's a big one. Okay, so let's tune you to my
position, right? So this would be down bow. review this one here. Okay, we'll review it and then we'll do the next page. Okay, and then we're on to this one. Same way. Okay, we got it. Thank you. 
So then... Oh. 
strong and calm out of it. Good. Good. Come on it. No harmonic beat. Right now, B. Come on it. B. Good. Good. Why don't you keep your thumb here? Good. Keep your thumb here. That's it. Breathe really lightly. And then your third key, how long does your finger be? You could do that, or you could get go to here on the D string. Again, divide the string into four pieces. Well, you you can find this. You know, you can just stay on the D string. A little higher. Good. Come back. Right, the L. So it's going to be on the D string again. Good. 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 A. Good. And back to the F sharp. I'm on it. B. Good. And A. Good. Open string. Another place to play it. That's right. It's much more fun. Good. Oh, oh, this has a harmonic. No, that has a harmonic too. Good. Good. harmonics and open sticks. Okay. Now that you know where they all are. And let me show you how to do the next one. Now, number 11 is a really important shifting aphid, but it won't be hard for you because you know how to shift. 
So we're going to do in this rhythm, so we play two eight tenths and two sixteenths, and we're going to be slowly shifting to the changing note. So two, three, two, three. always finding the changing tone, so. Diderio was, uh, do you know, hmm, just know Charles Diderio. What movie did that name sound like? Oh, Charles Diderio. Is it wild west? Uh, England. No. France. France. Okay. France. You know, de. Always, if you see the D here, it's a sure giveaway that it's a French name. Okay. okay? Now, he was a violinist, um, and he wrote a lot of, actually, concertos and pieces for younger people. And he was living in Paris, which at the time, 1800s, earlier 1800s, was where the modern violin school was being developed. Biati, if you remember our old friend, Mr. Biati, he was the father of our modern school. And uh, so he wrote this piece called Scene de Ballet, which means what? Here's another sure giveaway, send the ballet. So um, it's like, have you been to see the Nutcracker and the ballet? Yeah. So you see that they're changing scenes all the yeah. time. And uh, you know, with lights and scenery and different dancers. So this is what he wrote. And so you have lots of different scenes here that we will um, explore and get you to play with lots of different characters. Okay, so here we go. That's a good start. So, you know, you start from the string, right? Fingers before the bow. Now, 
when we play three notes, we don't want to be too close to the fingers, so we want to get a little more over the fingerboard. Good. And you can decide if it goes slower or faster, you know, whatever sounds good to you. Good. And, and we could maybe even do a little, little less. Oh. Good. And next one. Good. And next one. There we have it. Just like two and eight, right? The chord. So we want to go finger before the bow. So he writes mezzo forte e molto cantando. Okay, you gotta look up all these words. Very singing. Okay, so so one, two, three, four. Good. Now when we change it to fra, you see how the bow has to be so beautiful and true here. Right up our alley here. See how you want to move that third finger? Good. So this is good. I would shift here. Western English word that looks like that. Retarded? Yes, that means like you're retarded, your tone is blurred, your speaking. And it's used often in Mozart operas, in symphony operas, that you're, you're, you're speaking instead of singing so much. So. Good. So this will be a defrag. Beautiful. 
the stop. So let's go from here. One, two, three, K. And that's on the E string. writes in 12-8, but 12-8 really means that we have how many beats to make it? Um, you're right. Four, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three. Uh, and I 
back here, we're just going to stay on the D string here. So we play two. So. Major with a yes, exactly. So then again, we'll first we stop both. So we'll isolate that. Can you do that? Four. Good, and we'll do an extension. Yep. So we'll do an extension with the F. Four, and then we'll shift. Make sense? So we'll do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. So you'll do that enough so it's comfortable. And you'll recognize that it is a um, G7 chord. So now you're, you know, after all your scale, that should come not so, uh, it should come easily. Then we do the slur. Count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
big C because we're going to count that little one as a note. So keep track of one, two, three, four.
Okay, can we start from here? So one, three, one, one, three, four, four on the A. That's it. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is all on the A string here. I, I wanted to show you how to do this, and I'm thinking, because uh, you have a whole week, right? Yeah. And once I show you something, you get it right away. Uh, do you want to come tomorrow? I'm teaching Joyce from 9 to like 10.15, and maybe you could come at 10.15 for 20 or 30 minutes, and you can just do this. And, uh, and then race them to the airport and all of that. Okay? So take a look at this, so before tomorrow. So, you know, with, with stop modes, right? So see what you can make of the next pages up through at least here, and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, does that sound like a good idea? Okay.